It's Mina and Andrea on CFRU News. My name is Andrea. And my name is Mina Ramos, and welcome to this week's edition of the CFRU Newsletter. Hey there, everyone. I'd like to start off by making a special announcement and welcoming our newest staff, Jenny Mitchell. Uh, Jenny's going to be working, yeah, it's exciting. Jenny's going to be working as our mobile studio coordinator over the next year. So just a word on Jenny, this is her personal bio. Uh, Jenny Mitchell is a local musician, artist, mother, and school bus driver. She has been performing in bands in Guelph since she was 15 with her acts, the Bar Mitzvah Brothers, Jenny Omnicord, and Bird City, and has performed in many other bands, including Richard LaViolette, um, and in his bands, the Oil Spills and the Glitter Bombs, the Burning Hell, the Crying Out Loud Corps, Andrew Vincent, Blip Rock, Polly and the Blow Bots, and more. Very creative names. She operates a Canadian label collective called Label Fantastic. Jenny recently bought a giant golden bus with the intention of creating a mobile recording <coughs> performance slash art studio space. While that construction is underway, she is excited to carry out her mobile recording ambitions as the new mobile studio coordinator for CFRU. Welcome to CFRU. Yeah, so the mobile studio for people who don't know, we've had it for quite some time and it's in, been in a few different locations. And right now it is hanging out at the Two Rivers Neighborhood Group at Titler School in the ward, but it will be rotating every few months. So if you have any ideas for the mobile studio, whether you want to record stuff there or you have another location that you'd like it to be <coughs> at, um, you can get <coughs> hold at Jenny at mobile at CFRU.ca. So welcome aboard, Jenny. In this week's newsletter, we have, it's actually a pretty short newsletter, um, so a lot of repeats from last week, but still good information, updated information. Keep watching. It's important. Um, so the first one is student job opportunities, and that is the community events liaison, and the deadline is coming up, so you should apply. Uh, and then we have volunteer opportunities, and then trainings. Yep, so we're still hiring for the community events liaison student position, which is 30 hours a week, 8 weeks. $12 an hour from June 22nd to August 17th. So the community events coordinator will interact daily with the outreach coordinator, station manager, operations and tech coordinator, programming coordinator, and volunteer coordinator. The person hired will also attend regular staff and one-on-one -on -one meetings and constantly discuss event coordination plans before projects are implemented. The role really intersects with every other staff position and is among the most holistic experiences one can have at CFRU. The, de the desired level of education of the student is post-secondary and you have to be a returning student next year to qualify. Uh, for more information, you can check uh, out the posting at CFRU.ca and to apply, please send your CV and cover letter to info at CFRU.ca with 2015 CFRU Community Events Liaison position in the subject line by June 8th at 5 p.m. All right, volunteer opportunities. So we are still looking for people to come out for the Guelph <coughs> District Multicultural Festival. We're going to be there live on location doing programming from 11 to 6 on Saturday, June 6th and 11 to 5 on Sunday, June 7th. And so, I'm going to be there the whole time. Yeah, so you can Andrew's going to be hanging out. Um, and there's going to be live programming too, so it should be pretty exciting. Uh, we've been at the Guelph District Multicultural Festival for the last few years. Um, this year what we're looking for is people who kind of want a table, people who want to interview, festival goers, vendors, acts, um, whatever you're interested in. And so if you want to come on out, please email Andrea <coughs> at outreach at CFRU.ca <coughs> or just stop on by and say, hey, That'd be sweet too. Yeah. Yeah. We also have a few other volunteer opportunities coming up, so stay tuned for those. We're just waiting to get a little bit more information. Should be a busy this summer. Is true. I yeah, think. we're gonna be doing lots of festival stuff, so lots of stuff for volunteers to do. Um now for trainings. There will be several trainings hosted in the next few weeks. To begin with, we will be hosting orientation sessions and programming and policy trainings on the following days, Wednesday, June 10th at 5.30 p.m. and Tuesday, June 23rd at 5.30 p.m. Orientation sessions are mandatory for prospective volunteers and go over the basics of what CFRU is and how you can get involved at the station. Uh, the hour-long programming and policy occurs after the orientation, orientation session and is mandatory for programmers. This training goes over the codes of conduct and requirements as a programmer. And um, if you are interested in attaining these, <laughs> attending these trainings, you can RSVP by emailing mina at cfru.volunteer at gmail.com. 
There will also be a production training on Friday, June 5th at 3 p.m. and Thursday, June 11th at 3.30 p.m. Production trainings go over how to edit and use Adobe Audition here at the station. Lastly, there will be an on-air training at 1 p.m. on Thursday, June 11th. This training goes over how to use the on-air studio for individuals who are interested in live broadcasting. If you are interested in coming into this training, please RSVP with Mina at cfru.volunteer at gmail.com as there is limited availability. All right, so that is everything for this week. A short but sweet newsletter. Tune in for next week. See ya. See ya.